it's rutting season and stags roar across the Scottish Highlands hoping to attract a mate. The UK is home to around one and a half million deer, half of which live in these hills. And in an effort to limit population growth, around 100,000 deer are culled by landowners every year in Scotland. But as interest in carrying out the killings dwindles, the cull is becoming a business. As tourists come to kill a deer at a cost. So the idea is to always try and go against the wind because their smell is better than their vision. So we approach the animal with the wind facing us. On the background. For 450 euros, this German customer is taking part in a hunt on a Frenchman's land. Perfect shot. It's never hurt uh, breaking when you do that or? <laughs> Not breaking? <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's a great relief that uh, you, uh, you have a perfect shot and uh, you do not uh, yeah, make the animal suffer. The stag had no idea we were only 50 meters away from him. I think that's the most humane way of killing an animal. Unlike fox hunting, unlike livestock farming or slaughterhouses. <laughs> Every year, up to 15 deer are killed on his family's land. Yeah. The aim isn't to kill for the sake of it. It's a way of managing the land. Too many deers means increased pressure on the environment, increased erosion. The heather and the grass disappear. And when bigger herds go by, parts of the peat bogs can spill into the rivers. And this means more carbon gets released into the wider environment. The Scottish government sets the quota. And the Scottish national heritage plays a part in raising awareness among locals. It's very low, and if you feel it, it feels quite almost rigid. Uh, whereas this heather, which was picked from our side of the fence, you see naturally it's much more bushy. Uh, in, in Scotland, we don't have any natural predators of deer anymore. Uh, so things like wolves wolf have been absent for hundreds of years. So if we weren't to manage deer, uh, the population would be unnaturally high. There's not going to be the habitat here to support the population and you'll get deer dying of well, starvation eventually. But some locals are concerned the call will get out of hand and eventually turn into nothing more than a major tourist attraction. All over the world, people are still able to go and hunt for a trophy. It results in the extinction of some species like rhino, rhinoceros, mm -hmm. elephant, because of trophy hunters, people with lots of money, able to go and do these things. Other methods to maintain the population, such as contraceptive control. But deer hunting remains an important economic gain for Scotland, bringing in over 100 million euros every year.